Chair, I ask unanimous consent to insert into the record a letter I wrote and sent to you asking, calling on you to cancel any and all future impeachment hearings and outlining how the process... Without objection, the letter will be entered into the record. Thank you. Um, during an interview, Mr. Chairman, on MSNBC's Morning Joe, on November 26, 2018, Chairman Nadler outlined a three-pronged test that he said would allow for a legitimate impeachment proceeding. Now, I quote Chairman Nadler's remarks. And this is what he said. There really are three there really are three questions, I think. First, has the president committed impeachable offenses? Second, do those offenses rise to the gravity that's worth putting the country through the drama of impeachment? And number three, because you don't want to tear the country apart, you don't want half of the country to say to the other half for the next 30 years, he won, we won the election, you stole it from us. You have to be able to think at the beginning of the impeachment process that the evidence is so clear of offenses so grave that once you've laid out all of the evidence, a good fraction of the opposition, the voters, will reluctantly admit to themselves they had to do it. Otherwise, you have a partisan impeachment which will tear the country apart. If you meet these three tests, then I think you do the impeachment. And those were the words of Chairman Nadler. Now, let's see if Chairman Nadler's three-pronged test has been met. First, has the president committed an impeachable offense? No. The evidence and testimony has not revealed any impeachable offense. Second, do those offenses rise to the gravity that's worth putting the country through the drama of impeachment? Again, the answer is no. There is nothing here that rises to the gravity that's worth putting the country through the drama of impeachment. And third, have the Democrats laid out a case so clear that even the opposition has to agree? Absolutely not. You and House Democrat leadership are tearing apart the country. You said the evidence needs to be clear. It is not. You said offenses need to be grave. They are not. You said that once the evidence is laid out, that the opposition will admit they had to do it. That has not happened. In fact, polling and the fact that not one single Republican voted on the impeachment inquiry resolution or on the Schiff report reveal the opposite is true. In fact, what you and your Democratic colleagues have done is opposite of what you said had to be done. This is a partisan impeachment, and it is tearing the country apart. I take this all to mean that Chairman Nadler, or along with the rest of the Democratic caucus, is prepared to continue these entirely partisan, unfair proceedings and traumatize the American people all for a political purpose. I think that's a shame. That's not leadership. That's a sham. And so I ask Mr. Turley, has Chairman Nadler satisfied his three-pronged test for impeachment? With all due respect to the Chairman, I do not believe that those, those factors were satisfied. Thank you. And I want to correct something for the record as well. Repeatedly today and other days, Democrats have repeated what was said in the text of the call. Do me a favor, though, and they imply it was against President Biden to, to investigate President Biden. It was not. It was not. In fact, let me read what the transcript says. It says, the President Trump, I would like you to do us a favor, though, because our country has been through a lot, and Ukraine knows a lot about it. I would like you to find out what happened with this whole situation with Ukraine. They say CrowdStrike. I guess you have one 
of your own wealthy people. It says nothing about the Biden. So please stop referencing those two together, and I yield back. Gentlelady yields back. Ms. Jayapal. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a deeply grave moment.